Taurus, welcome to this just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this Taurus, trust that there's a message here for you. Now, whether you're a regular viewer or this has popped up in your feed and you're going, you know what, I feel a call to click on that. Stay open that there is some wisdom here for you. So let's jump on in. I do like to start these readings with a couple of oracle cards to frame up the energy before I hit the full tarot deck. And I've got a personal issue reaches resolution. That's a positive omen. So maybe you've been going through some kind of struggle or challenge. Well, this is that full moon energy, which is completion, conclusion. I am reading this in the wake of the Libra full moon lunar eclipse, which can bring things into balance. It's like highlighting the Libra energy of justice. So something I feel is coming back into balance. Maybe a decision in your favor, something like that. Whoops, that one's <laughs> turned over. That one was, though, if you want to know the eternal light of love. So we have love coming into this. We have light coming into this, which is always healing. But I'm going to choose, and I have success. Okay, you're going to be successful for something. Like I said, I'm feeling maybe a decision in your favor, a justice call. You might be waiting to hear back from an application, work, housing. Um, let's keep going. Okay, there's always an emotional aspect to the cancer energy coming through. So it feels like this is going to be an emotional sigh of relief for you so I love that the success card is coming in here okay let's go to the full tarot deck I'm using the moon child tarot from Danielle Knoll and the first card out is the six of wands okay nothing quite says success like the six of wands and you know how I was talking about this energy of balance with that Libra energy being activated with the moon that we're in right now. Well, Libra is the scales, right? And number six is the number of balance. Two threes perfectly make the six. So we've got something coming into balance. We've got a win here, a winning outcome. The six of wands is very positive in terms of recruitment processes for work or standing out, being a front runner in the application process. You know, it feels like there is energy here. There's growth. There is definite success. You might be rewarded or recognized in your industry for something. Seven of Cups is here, and I feel whatever that is, it opens up new possibility for you. And you might have been waiting for this answer. I mean, it might have felt like it was out of your reach or at an arm's length. But the Seven of Cups, I feel like things are materializing. New possibilities are opening up for you. Wow, the Death Card, Scorpio energy coming in. And the thing about the Death Card is it's a real sort of clearing of the slate and rebirth energy and I always notice on this particular card how liberated, how emancipated, how transformed this figure looks. So I just feel that whatever this answer is for you, it really does transform your reality in some way of course because it solves a personal issue that's been weighing really heavily uh, on your energy so we have this sigh of relief like this finally like I can get back to life and all the possibilities opening up again you're being told you're heading for success so it's a gorgeous energy okay like you know sometimes the death card talks about there could have been some kind of you know ending or loss uh you know and maybe you've been sitting in that sort of space in between or the limbo yeah exactly I think there was a tower moment here so like I said there could have been the loss of a job or you've got to move out of that home you know there was a destabilization that caused the personal issue that's what the tower is it feels like getting that you know that that rug or that mat pulled out from underneath you the state the foundation crumbling underneath you and leaving you vulnerable and exposed but we're being told here that you're going to be successful for a win that's going to provide new stability for you and I feel that this new beginning, Taurus, will be even more in alignment for you. So sometimes the universe uses these means that can feel a little bit like a crisis, right? But it's all divine redirection and you get to build a firmer, more strong tower that is in alignment for you. That's I just touched the cards and the Ten of Pentacles came out. So we're talking about destabilization to rebuild and now I've got the ten of pentacles which is very high up in the earth suit right this is like your long-term stability so it's like you had to go through that experience to get to the position where you've got the ten of pentacles so if you are winning a job application here you're going to be there for some time there's long-term success there's abundance to be had if this is around housing for you 
you're going to be very happy in that new home. You know, it's a, it's a family environment here. You'll be there for a while. You're not going to get kicked out. So I absolutely love seeing that energy for you. Like Ten of Pentacles is success. It's abundance, stability, security. I'll finish on this card here because the Queen of Cups is the Minor Arcana of Cancer. And the Moonology Oracle card was the full moon in Cancer. Now, that is relevant because the Queen of Cups is feeling happy in her heart. She's feeling emotionally fulfilled again. And it's almost like, you know, I can get back to, you know, I can get back to, um, you know, joy and love and feeling satisfied, all of those things. Now, the Queen of Cups might be somebody who is significant in the situation. A feminine energy can come in a male or female body, of course. And, um, you know, the Queen of Cups could be somebody who's actually delivering you that answer. The Queen of Cups is offering up the Ace of Cups, the emotional new beginning. So I just feel that you're going to get some kind of answer that's going to really change your reality, help you recover from a tower moment and head you from release to rebirth. The Ten of Pentacles indicates that you're on the path to long-term security and success. So I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. I love this for you. If you would like to explore it further with a personal reading, the first link down below will pop you over to my website. You can check out what I offer. There are limited numbers of the readings, so if you do want one, jump in. There are other useful links down there, including my Instagram account. I'm posting uh, daily readings uh, twice a day and daily energy readings over there. I'm really active and interactive on that platform, so I'd love to have you with me. And I'll just say take care. I'm sending you so much love and magic, Taurus. Bye for now.